Governor Brian Kim getting some bipartisan credit today for raising teacher salaries again this year following his state of the state speech. Kim says he is adding a raise to his budget and giving bonuses to bus drivers and other school workers. 11 Alive's Doug Richards live for us this evening at the Capitol with much more. Yeah, there was a lot in his state of the state speech that Kemp's critics took issue with uh, his refusal to expand Medicaid for health care, uh, his interest in expanding gun rights. But he did get a smidge of bipartisan support, at least for his interest in raising teacher salaries. Brian Kemp doesn't want his fourth state of the state speech to be his last. So much of this year's speech overlapped with his election year pitch to Republican voters. I'm looking forward to working with the members of the General Assembly this legislative session to protect our students from divisive ideologies like critical race theory that pits kids against each other. Critical race theory is a curriculum used as a conservative talking point to energize voters frightened by Black Lives Matter protests in 2020. Kemp's argument about critical race theory was irrelevant, said Democrats. The only reason why he's leaning into far-right conspiracy theories about CRT and trans youth are because he lost President Trump's endorsement. But Democrats and teachers did give Kemp a bit of credit for advancing the cause of public schools with more money for teachers and school programs. And completely restore all austerity cuts to education funding in our state that were made during the pandemic. Educators are always, you know, want to be recognized and paid as the professionals they are. And again, we uh, have to take those first steps, and this is a good first step. Now, raising teachers' pay raise was the right thing to do. But Georgia has more to do if we're going to prevent the kind of education uh, staffing losses we've seen in recent years. So a moment ago, you heard Representative Matt Wilson refer to uh, trans youth. Kemp said that he would support a bill that uh, he said would require fairness in school sports. That refers to legislation that has bubbled up around the country that uh, would compel transgender athletes to compete uh, within their birth gender. There's really no traction yet for bills like that uh, here in the state capitol, but it is an election year, uh, and there's a lot of that going around, uh, and we'll talk a little bit more about that tonight at 6. Back to you. Yeah, anything can happen. Doug, thank you.